This is my one-day Cardiff vlog. We visited the Big Pit and Cardiff Castle. Our first stop was the Big Pit, which is the National Mining Museum of Wales. It used to be a working coal mine until it became a museum in 1980. The Big Pit got its name from the size of the coal field. It is located at the edge of Lenaven. All electronic devices, including smartwatches and smartphones, were prohibited inside the mine for safety reasons. But these were some of the videos that I got outside the mine. both in Gaelic and English. Back in the old days, the miners would use canary birds to test the level of methane gas in the atmosphere. The miners also used a safety lamp to reduce the danger of explosions of flammable gases. We had a personal tour guide when we were underground in the mine, but this is another part of the museum where they have a recording of someone explaining the history. Inside the mine, it was very cold and windy. We had to take an elevator shaft to go 19 meters underground. You won't see too many big machines in this neck of the woods. No and then, mechanical saw perhaps, but mostly quiet muscle of the men who know the rock. Men who work the coal, carved it out with their mandrills, feel its strengths and its weaknesses, and sometimes even its heartless treachery. Okay folks, I think it's time we were moving on. Follow the yellow brick road! At the end of the museum tour, I learned a lot about the mining history. I couldn't agree more with my friend here. Once in a lifetime experience on the Outside the mining museum, you can also enjoy the landscape of Wales. It was gorgeous. Even though it was really windy, we had to take some pictures. After a one hour bus trip from the Big Pit, we finally arrived at Cardiff City. We didn't have a lot of time to explore the Christmas market, so we had to grab some quick lunch before we headed to the Cardiff Castle. We finally arrived at the Cardiff Castle at 3 p.m. It was getting dark soon, so we had to hurry up. Did you know that the Cardiff City Centre is also known as the Welsh Washington? Next to the Cardiff Castle was the Norman Keep, which I will show you later. But first we explored inside the castle. looking at the paintings on the ceilings and walls. They were really interesting. For example, they also had fairy tale paintings, such as Sleeping Beauty, as you can see here, and Little Red Riding Hood. It's like the Wills Memorial Library version in Cardiff. <laughs> yeah, but in a castle. <laughs> Oh, 
do you think of this? Is it reasonable to have a whole floor with a labyrinth? Ah, he likes it. Ah, well done. <laughs> a labyrinth is only one exit and one, one entrance and one exit. You follow the path. You you calm yourself. Okay, so it's like meditation task. Yeah, this is how it is. about an hour inside the castle. This is how the Cardiff castle looks like from the outside. We managed to get some quick pictures before it got dark around 4.30. We couldn't help but do some yoga poses as the Cardiff castle was so nice. Before we knew it, the sun was already setting. So this is what the Cardiff Castle looks like at night. And next to it is the Norman Shell Keep as I mentioned earlier. The Norman Shell Keep was where soldiers took shelter to attack their enemies from a high distance. We had to climb up some stairs to reach to the top. Okay, there are more stairs. Cause like... Need to be high and above in order to like attack the enemy. So this is where they shoot arrows in the olden times to attack enemies. Oh, this is even thinner. Yeah. One. Oh, and this is like another. Yeah, we can just make like, you know, like, 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 like,